All right, and Finn's on four tonight. I am dying to see this one Dolphin player actually get on the field. He hasn't played yet this preseason. We're talking about receiver Tyreek Hill. Okay, but he was kind enough to sit down with our very own Mike Cunho, and they talked about his new role in Miami and the expectations that are following him to South Florida. Tyreek Hill may be short in stature, but he certainly talks and plays a big game. He's got an attitude that has quickly endeared himself to Dolphin fans. His podcast, It Needed to Be Said, has given people an inside look at his personality. I think fans have really enjoyed it. It's been a way for you to connect with them, right. them to connect with you. Right. How much fun are you having? But it's definitely fun, you know. I feel like it gives a it gives an active player perspective. Yeah. What things that really need, needed to be said. You know, like we really ain't, ain't go all out how we needed to go out all out, but we just wanted it to just shed light on a few things. One of the things he's been outspoken about is his belief that QB Tua Tungavaloa is the right man for the job here in Miami. Their relationship has been on full display since Hill was traded back in March. And you guys seem to have gotten close, and I think fans have really enjoyed watching you guys kind of come together and work together. It's great. Um, you know, um, immediately as soon as I signed with the team, you know, me and him was chatting back and forth. You know, obviously, you know, this whole offseason, phase two, phase three, you know, and during the time that we had the 45-day period off, you know, me and, me and Tua got together. You know, we threw some routes, we talked, we, we hung out, we played golf together, drunk a few brewskis, you know, had a good time. So, you know, the relationship is there, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So now all, all we got to do is just let it translate to the football field, which I know it will. That camaraderie has extended past his relationship with Tua. Hill says new additions to the practice facility have really brought the entire team together. The Dolphins have been right on the verge the last two seasons. Right. Breaking into the playoffs. What's missing? Team chemistry. You know, um, the, the owner, Mr. Ross, you know, Chris Greer, those guys are doing special things in the locker room for us. They added a basketball court, they added ping pong, you know, just having that team chemistry, having that team bonding, you know, having those small moments like that, you know, really creates a good energy, you know, outside of football, but also on the football field too. So, you know, we used to do a lot of that in Kansas City. We've heard about the basketball court. Um, so who's who's running the court right now? Who's king of the court? Obviously, you know, the cheetah is always uh, the king of the court. Okay, so the cheetah's got ups too. The cheetah can fly? Cheetah can fly, fly baby. Laterally and vertically? I'm, I'm like a flying squirrel, but I'm a flying cheetah, baby. Something else that may remind him of Kansas City are the expectations to win here in Miami. Dolphin Nation, I am so ready to be a part of Fins Up, man. Your boy Cheetah, so excited. You know when you walk in this building, so the expectations for this season right. follow, followed you in here. How do you handle the expectations? Do you like those lofty goals? I mean, you got, you've got dealt with high expectations for a number of years now in Kansas City, so it's right. not like it's anything new to you. Uh -huh. but how do you handle that? I mean, all we can do is just be us. You know, um, I kind of live by the saying, uh, control what you can control. You know, and just play, play as hard as you can play. You know, each and every down. You know, because this game is a promise. You know, it, it, it can leave you at, at a snap of a finger, just like that. You know, so for the guys, man, for myself, man, all we're gonna do is just be ourselves. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a legend. Wow, the cheetahs got me excited. I'm pumped. Okay, remember, CBS4 is your home for the Dolphins. The Dolphins are taking on the Eagles this Saturday night at 7 and their last preseason game, and we will air it right here on CBS4 and stream it on CBSMiami.com. I'd love to see him get a little run Saturday. I don't think he's going to play, though, because it's just a preseason. They're going to wait until the games really count, but he is so fast, so exciting, and if the rest of the guys mm -hmm. follow his lead, Dolphins are going to be fun to watch this year. That's what I think. Especially with those backflips. All right. Flipping. <laughs> You're right.